Hi and welcome back to another Stampin' on Friday episode. Today we're going to be making a really simple card. Um, it's a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch card. So I'm just going to take a piece of eight and a half by eleven cardstock, and I'm going to cut that down to four and a quarter. So I'm just going to stick that right in here and cut it down to four and a quarter. And I'm making two cards, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this out twice, and then I'm going to need. Um, Let's see if this will be big enough. No, this is three and a half. So I'm going to need two pieces at three and a half inches. And another one. I decided I'm going to use um, a three and a quarter inch piece of the same color cardstock. So this is, uh, if I forgot to mention that earlier, it's sweet blush. So I need two pieces at three and three quarter. I decided three and a half was a little bit too small, so two at three and three quarter. And then I'm going to need two pieces of the cream card stock at three inches by three inches. Okay, so I'm done with my trimmer. Um, I'm going to be using my cuddle bug today because I'm going to do some embossing. I haven't used any of my embossing folders in quite some time. So I'm going to take my two pieces of the Sweet Blush cardstock. That's the three and three quarter by three and three quarter. And I'm only going to make one of these cards today. I'm actually making a, right, or for the video, I'm making cards for my twin nieces. Their 10th birthday is coming up and I wanted to get their cards made. So you're going to need your A plate your B plate, your cardstock with your embossing folder, and I'm just going to stick that right in here. And this is a Provocraft Cuddlebug folder, and it's the Happy Birthday. I don't know the actual name of it. So we're just going to go ahead and emboss that. And then we're going to need our other B plate, and we'll just run that through our Cuddlebug. So that's my embossed piece. And that's going to layer right on the front of my card. And let me just get out my score buddy. I love my score buddy. It's perfect for doing cards instead of having the big score pal, which I love my score pal too. But that's and that's good for doing the uh, for bigger bigger um, projects and stuff. But this is just perfect for doing cards. So I'm going to score this at four and a quarter. And then this piece will actually get layered right on the front of my card. So I'm just going to set that aside for now. I'm going to take a piece of my, my vintage cream, which is the 3 inches by 3 inches. And I'm going to use some Jenny Bolin ink along with two stamp sets. This is the Every But Everyday Buttons from Paper Tray Ink. This is probably one of my very first stamp sets that I ever got from them. And then the fillable frames number one, I'm going to use this um, Happy Happy Birthday. So I'm going to stamp that first. And I'm going to stamp that in the center right down at the bottom. Just like that. And then I'll pull out the little, um, it's a set of, it's a set of uh, balloons. And what I love about this set is that it's, um, you just add buttons. So everything that's here, like there's these little trees, you can add green buttons to the top. And, and there's also um, this bicycle, you can add just, um, which I've used before, uh, buttons for the wheels. And I've used this topiary right here with a crocheted flower in the back. So really fun set to play with. So I'm going to do the balloons, so I'm going to ink that up with my ink, and I'm going to stamp that right in the center, and part of my head if it's in the way, just going to make sure I'm in the center. Just like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do before I go ahead and start um, putting my card together and putting the buttons on. I want to distress the edges a little bit. So I have my Tim Holtz distressor, which I have attached to my tweezers so I don't lose them. 
Let me just take that off there. I'm going to distress the edges and I'm just going to just lightly go across the sides. I don't really want it to be too distressed. Just a little, a little bit. So I'm going to do that to this piece and then I'm also going to do it to my other pieces of my, my card. Okay, so I did all three of my pieces and I'm going to go ahead and continue working on my uh, stamped image here and I'm just going to use some crochet thread to um, tie around which is now all over the place here. So I'm just going to tie this around my card a couple of times here and I'm going to tie a bow right at about where the bow is on my stamped image. Okay, so that's my bow, and just to make sure it stays right in place where that other bow is, I'm just going to add, you can add either a little glue dot or some glossy accents. So I'm going to add some glossy accents wherever I put that, which is now missing, so I'll go with a mini glue dot. So I'm just going to kind of roll that up so it's nice and tiny. I don't need it to be too big. I don't want it to be too big because otherwise you'd see it. So I'm just going to stick that little glue dot right where that bow is and then stick my bow down on top of that and then I know it won't move around. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my buttons on and I picked out a couple of buttons already and these are mostly from Paper Tray Ink Sweet Blush, the Sweet Blush collection. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. I put crochet already in the center, so the bigger one is going to go right here at the top. And then I have two smaller ones. This one's also, this little heart is also from the Sweet Blush collection. So I'll just put a little mini glue dot in that one and that'll go over here. And then this button is from a whole nother uh, buttons uh, I think that I got at Joann's or something like that on clearance. So I use three different types of buttons. I just think that's absolutely adorable. And now what I'm going to do is use some Stampin' Up! Dimensionals on the back of this. And that'll get layered right onto my embossed piece. But before I put my embossed piece down, I'm going to go ahead and put that right on my card. Oops. All right, so I just want to make sure I have it going in the right direction. This will get centered right in the center of my card. So that's my layer, and then I'll go ahead and put my stamped piece. I have a lot of these little fuzzies around from the distressing right in the center of my embossed piece. So that's our card for today. Thanks for watching another episode, and I'll see you next time.